Hi everyone, welcome to the virtual bake along. I hope you're all staying safe and not finding lockdown too boring. So today after some requests, I thought we'd do a lovely lemon curd cake. So let's start off with the ingredients you'll need. So you'll need 100 grams of unsalted butter, 225 grams of self-raising flour, 175 grams of golden caster sugar, or normal caster sugar will be just fine. I know it's hard to get stuff in the shop. Um, baking powder, two heap spoonfuls of lemon curd. I made my own and I'll leave the recipe in the recipe card, but don't worry if that's too advanced, you can just use shop bought, two eggs and a couple of lemons. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, I'm gonna use my KitchenAid again, but you can just use an electric whisk or whisk by hand. So we're gonna start by adding our butter and sugar into the bowl. And now we're just gonna cream this together. There we go. So we start on a low speed and gradually bring it up. You don't want your sugar going everywhere. So now your butter and sugar is all creamed nicely together. You're gonna add two large eggs. So I've just added my eggs and I'm now gonna give it a mix round. Perfect, so now what we need to do is start resting our lemons. So now I'm just gonna add our lemon zest. Now using the same lemon, you just wanna cut it in half and get the juice. And squeeze, being careful not to get the pips in. Now you're just gonna give that another mix round. So that's all mixed together. I'm just gonna add my lemon curd two heaped spoonfuls. I like it super lemony. And now you're gonna add your self-raising flour. And just mix around. Now I'm just gonna add one heaped tablespoon of baking powder. Get it out there. And perfect. Once that's done, you just want to give it another mix round. Perfect. Now our lemon mixture is all ready to go in our loaf tin. Trying not to get any on the sides. We want that professional finish. So now you're going to put your finished lemon cake in the oven at 180 degrees for 35 minutes or until a skewer comes out clean. Perfect. Once you've taken your lemon cake out of the oven, you need to let it cool for 10 to 20 minutes or until cold to touch. Then you want to take a toothpick and poke lots of holes in it. Then you want to make your lemon drizzle icing. What you need to do for this is have 150 grams of icing sugar and the juice of one lemon. Stir together until you've got a nice thick icing. You want to then pour this over your cooled lemon cake and let it sit. So to make your candied lemons and limes, what you want to do is take your lemon and limes and cut them into really thin pieces. Then you want to add some sugar into a pan and a little bit of water. Then you want to add in your lemons and limes. At a low heat, you want to let them caramelize. Then you want to take them out of the pan and let them cool before putting on your cake. So another bake down. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe. Be sure to send us pictures of your bakes Here's my final cake. See you next time.